If you are planning to conduct the new digital speechcraft program, then this video will show you how to mark the projects completed. If the speechcrafter joins Toastmasters subsequently, his completed projects can be transferred as credits to his pathways level 1 and level 2. Let me show you how. Yesterday, I conducted my third speechcraft session and five speechcrafters delivered their speeches. Three speechcrafters gave their icebreaker and two of them delivered their second speech. As a speechcraft coordinator, it's important that these projects are marked as completed on the speechcraft dashboard. This will help the speechcrafters earn their credits in case they want to move into Toastmasters. To complete this task, log into the speechcraft portal that is speechcraft.toastmasters.org and log in as a coordinator. From here, I can click on the Go button and this will take me to the base camp of Speechcraft. Unlike Pathways, where the member has to submit his project completion and it has to be approved by the VP Education, in Speechcraft, it is very simple. It is the role of the coordinator to mark projects as completed. Scroll down till you find Speechcraft Speech Validation and click on it. When I first came to the screen, I found it a little confusing but it is actually very straightforward. First, select the date and time that your Speechcraft event took place. In my case, it is yesterday, 16th. It was at 7 p.m. and the time zone was Kuwait, Riyadh. Then click on this Search Existing Training button and this will open up a search screen. I want to mark the three icebreaker speeches. You can search for the training by typing the keyword such as ICE and click enter and it gives me a search result Speechcraft Icebreaker. Select material. We can see now that we are going to mark Speechcraft Icebreaker. Click next. Click on the add attendee button and it will give you the list of Speechcrafters enrolled in the program. I will select the three Speechcrafters who have completed the icebreaker and click save. If you incorrectly selected, you can tick here and click on the remove option. For each person, click on the record button and mark it as complete. There is an option to record a score, but in Speechcrafters, obviously we don't record any scores. I can just give 100 and give a comment. This could be the title of the speech and any additional comments that you would like to record and keep for future reference. Once completed, click on the save button and it shows here complete. Do the same thing for the rest. Once you're satisfied, click on the next button. You will get a summary and all we have to do now is to click on the submit button and this will mark the icebreaker projects for all these three members as completed. You get a message indicating that it has been successfully updated. Click done. And I can do the same thing for the second speech. To check the progress of your speech crafters, you can click on Speechcraft dashboards. You can see that the project that I had just marked as completed are not showing on the dashboard. And the reason is because these updates happen overnight. So tomorrow if I come, I should see this dashboard updated with the three speech crafters that I have marked as completed. So that's a quick look at how you can mark Speechcraft projects completed by the Speechcraft coordinator. If you are conducting the new digital Speechcraft program, I wish you all the best.